Uh, well, the way how we got in touch with you was because you are a graphic artist, you are busy in art, and with the stuff going on in the Mississippi Delta, which is most based on the blues. Yes. So maybe can you explain us what, what are you doing today which is related to blues? All right. Well, um, I have for the last probably 12 years um, I've been doing a lot of uh, posters and um, blues art that's used in festivals and, and part of those pieces is there's an educational um, uh, part to those and also um, as you travel around the Delta and over in Arkansas and in different places you'll see large murals that I've done in the in the cities and towns and though most of the ones I've done are blues related and they are the the subject is the the history of the music in the area and also a tribute to the mu musicians and artists that came to the area is all this also because you were liking blues music from when we, when you were a young kid or when did you just moved into this kind of music or is this only related to doing nice stuff with, with art, with graphic, with painting, and you can use blues characters in your paintings. Well, I grew up in Clarkson, Mississippi, Good. and um, my parents and my relatives all owned country grocery stores. And so I would spend my times on the front porch of those stores <laughs> with, the local, with the local people, and they were playing music. <laughs> and so this is the music I grew up listening to on the front porch is uh, from the very day you were here front, yeah and um uh, so i've always heard this music i mean as you know i grew up as a matter of fact i mean it, it, it wasn't blues music but where my dad had a grocery store we had a home and then the next spot was a honky talk so i had to sleep every night listening to the beat of a drum uh, and ended up marrying a drummer so. turns you into a blues lover <laughs> yes <Yeah, so laughs> otherwise you move yeah the road. yeah <laughs> That's very interesting. Uh, your art, it is, I guess it's known not only in the Delta here, not only in Mississippi, but also maybe nationwide or further on. Yeah. Can you tell mm -hmm. something about that, about projects you've been doing abroad or not in Mississippi alone, but other states? Or something? Well, I, I think the first, the first thing that I, I actually I would say that got a lot of press or attention was um, in Top Auto, Mississippi. I did this kind of primitive type mural, and it, it it was picked up by several publications. And some of the publications were in the states, and some were out of the states. And, and people were interested. And then I started doing um, like posters for King Biscuit and things like that. Well, anytime you do a poster for a festival, and people have the opportunity to buy the poster, they take it back home with them and you kind of, it creates a fan base and they may live anywhere, I mean anywhere. Um, but it, some of the other projects, I just, um, last weekend there was a festival in Faraday, Louisiana, so I had, um, I, I just finished some artwork for them and that was uh, at their festival. And um, I'm working right now on a hanging mural project for New Titan, Norway. Um, and they, Actually, in New Titan, they are also building a uh, very impressive <laughs> European Blues Center Museum, and uh, it's right on the water. And it's it's um, they've been collecting all this um, um, paraphernalia and and and, um, and different things related to blues. And that's my cell phone. That's your cell phone, but that's no problem. <laughs> if you want to take no, it. No, no, that's all right. It's probably his anyway. <laughs> That's very interesting. With what you're doing now, are you thinking or already doing uh, projects uh, where you uh, bring other people in your project to work together, like giving classes, like giving workshops? I, I do. I do workshops occasionally. Um, um, the, now, when I work on um, murals, a lot of times I go into a city, city or town, and then I'll bring local. Um, artists in to work on the project. I use a lot of, a lot of times children come and, and work with me on the project. As long as they don't have to get up very high, you know, the yeah, low yeah. stuff. And, uh, and then you supervise. 
Yeah, or, yeah. Or, I, well, I've kind of done up the design, you know, and that's yeah. been okay. But and, and, and kind of teach the um, teach them techniques, and, and I'm very traditional in my, my how I um, my mural um, process where I don't use like projectors or anything like that. I kind of use the old grid system where anybody can do it anywhere once they leave there. And what, if I don't ever come back to that town, the group of artists there, if they choose to, they have gathered enough knowledge where they could do a second can, mural. They can, go yeah. on with mm -hmm. it. They can keep, keep the project on and ongoing. So. When we think about art and beyond your stuff, is there any painter or style which is your favorite? Like in painting styles from Europe, America, anything? Um, hmm, that's a good question. A lot of different people, and there's really not much I don't like. Um, and it might be kind of surprising that I, I, I love primitive art because of the storytelling that's in the primitive art. And of course I love mass, you know, all the masters, but the storytelling, um, the primitive pieces are straight from the heart and I can just look at them and, and kind of follow the story. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to get that? That's oh, probably that, that many calls is my mother in law. <laughs> I when I was uh, first seeing your graphics of your paintings, they related me to, well, they, they, they made me think of Impressionism sometimes. Yes. There's yeah, some uh, Van Gogh in your painting, in your <laughs> blues painting. I, I think so. I think so. The, 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 um, Rhythm of a brush stroke is, is sometimes so. you can see in some of the pieces that I so, would definitely yeah. say that's so I was thinking influenced that by that Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, but I'm about big Monet fan though. I love <laughs> Monet. <laughs> <laughs> I love Van Gogh too, but I'm a big no, Monet no, fan. No, no, no. I was thinking yeah. that you were going to say I'm, I like impressionism very yeah, much. Yeah, I do. I do. Well, we have a very nice painting behind us here. Mm -hmm. I guess it's yours. Yes, I know it's yours. Can you tell something about this? Because I think this is very, very much blues related. Yes. And maybe also Clarksdale related, where you lived such a long time. Yes, yes. Um, well, this is the Plix, the, 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 the folk tale, because I'm going to call it a folk tale, of the deal at the crossroads. And so many people relate that story with Robert Johnson. However, that story existed long before Robert Johnson. Is it? Yes, it's an old, old folk tale. Mm. And, um, and the way the story went, if you wanted to be a really good musician, you would take your instrument of choice and you would go to this certain spot and on a full moon and the devil would meet you there. And first the devil would take the instrument and play it and tune it and then hand it to you and then you were able to play but you had sold your soul to the devil <laughs> too bad <laughs> so, <laughs> but i think people relate to robert johnson because when he first started he was so bad he mm. was so bad and then he went off and when he came back he could really play really so bad. well and they go you must have sold your soul to the devil and so that's kind of very nice yeah is this for sale <laughs> <laughs> it's for sale for the right price. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.